What's up everybody, Caveman here. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a little uh, review video of the Hori Wrap N um, arcade stick. I recently just got this about a week and a half ago. Um, I've owned previous arcade sticks before, uh, the previous one being the Hori Wrap for PlayStation 4 and the Mad Cat's Soul Calibur arcade stick for PS3 back in the day and the Mad Cat's Soul Calibur stick is honestly my favorite one of all time. Um, the Hori wrap I didn't like too much. I don't know why it was just too long. And also I realized that there's different button layouts for arcade sticks, which I later found out. Uh, this is the Noir layout, which I prefer. It just feels better on my hand than the, uh, the Velux layout. So that's one of the reasons why I chose a stick. Um, another reason why I chose, well, a couple more reasons was one, this one has a headphone jack. So that way I can live stream and connect the El Elgato chat link cable to that. Um, this one is also PS4 and it works on PS3. And because PS5 is compatible with all new or, or all older arcade sticks, this should work on it. No problem. I've already tested it with a few, few games on there, but they've all been, ps4 version games i haven't gotten a ps5 version game yet to see if this works but from what i hear online and everyone's reviews and everything it works perfectly fine no problem so not only does this work on ps3 and ps4 but it also works on ps5 which is awesome honestly i love this stick you know the other the other thing i didn't like about the last Hori stick that i had what is it was i felt like it was way too wide um or in length it was too long this one, I like it more wider this way, fits better on my lap. And again, this buttons, they just feel better on my, for my hand. Um, but yeah, it's a great stick. And then also in this video today, we are gonna be modding this stick with some artwork that I spent some time on and got some new buttons for it. And this is what we're gonna be adding to it today. All right guys, so a little bit about this artwork and how I made it. Um, I pretty much just use pixel R, uh, which is a free website to do Photoshop things and whatnot. I have no idea how to use Photoshop at all, but I spent like three hours making this, uh, basically just found a toxic Avenger picture threw it up here. And then I also found this, like, it was like a little comic strip, but I had to like cut everything out in the background. Um, and then this overall background picture that you see here is a photo I saw online. It was for the movie Akira. And uh, I pretty much just flipped it, stretched it out, and I used that as my background. Uh, and then I also found this cool little toxic pizza thing here uh, that I add, that I threw on here. I did originally have it between them here, but I was worried that the toxic part was going to get cut off where the buttons are right here. But I think having it here is pretty cool. Although it might get cut off here on the side a little bit when I install it, but I'm not too worried about that, to be quite honest. But I, I got this artwork done by uh, Focus Attack. They did a great job. Um, although I did mess up the artwork when I submitted it, I had to resubmit it about two times because I put it in the incorrect formatting. Um, but I just had a friend of mine help me out and he put it in the correct formatting and I was able to s send it in and I got my artwork with, I think I resubmitted it and they accepted it on a f Thursday last week or Friday. And I just got everything today which is Wednesday. So it took a couple days, but it wasn't too big of a deal. And then I got some cool, I got a cool bat top here to go with it. I don't know which one I'm going to use. I've always kind of liked bat tops whenever I've been to arcades and things like that. So I think I might use this. I got this one right here. Got some cool Sam one buttons, which these will go, one will go right here. Another one will go right there. I haven't decided what order. And then I got an options button to change out for right there, which I think will be pretty cool. It's my first time ever modding, so I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but I think overall it came out looking pretty cool and I'm excited to show you guys what the final product will look like. So let's get into it. All right, cool. Now we got our basic tools here and we're just gonna start taking everything apart. From the videos I've seen, I know we gotta take off all these uh, six screws here on top and then there's some on the bottom we got to take off and then from there we're able to push the buttons out we got to take the ball top off and then from there we should be okay to peel the artwork off so we'll see how this goes
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This one's a little hard. Pressing on. Ooh. You gotta apply a lot, not a lot of pressure, but a good amount to get these off. But they come off pretty easy. <clears throat> there we go. So now we have all of our buttons detached and try and put these off to the side. Although this one is a little looped. I'm just gonna do this. All that off to the side. Cool, now we should be able to push out our buttons and we wanna take out the L1 and L2 and the options. I'm not even gonna fuck with that. And that was the sound of garbage falling in the kitchen. I'm pulling it out the right way. I should be. Oh, we got one button out. One more to go. Well, actually, two more. So we got these two Hayabusa buttons out and we're going to swap them for some Samwa buttons. I think we're going to go green on top and purple on bottom. Maybe green on bottom. Yeah, I think green on bottom and purple on top will look pretty cool. So these should just push right in. Oh wait, wait, wait. We got to take all the buttons out. Shit. Yeah, we gotta take all the buttons out to take off this top artwork. Fuck. Honestly, it might just be better just to de detach this joystick. There we go. Now I have full access to this whole board. Because it's becoming a real pain in the ass. 
I gotta be careful. So now we're just going to take the uh, ball top off. Flathead. Oh, I gotta get a smaller flathead, are you serious? All right. Now we got to peel this off. It's actually coming off somewhat easy. I don't want to say it's coming off easy yet. I didn't jinx myself. Ooh, that's smooth coming out. Garbaggio. Uh, there's still some like glue residue on here. Uh, let me see if I got some rubbing alcohol. All right, I just grabbed some rubbing alcohol, threw it on some toilet paper, and just wiping off this like glue residue that was left on after I ripped off that top old artwork. Getting the chunks off. There's still some on there. Sweet. Yep. All the glue off. garbage out of the way. Now from here, we want to put on our artwork. I 
and it's already pre-cut, so all of this should just push out. I think all of this actually has to come out. very gently popping out these cuts. Square is going to get popped out. Boom. That looks pretty sick. Now I think from here we just need to do everything back in reverse order, put the buttons back in. screwed on first, that way we line everything up. Let's get the metal plate back on. Sweet, put that back on. Now we're gonna get the artwork back on. And we're gonna screw it in. Wait. We gotta put the plexiglass on. Almost forgot about this piece. see it but yep it lays right over the artwork we're going to screw everything in and then we're going to push the buttons in so the bigger screw is going to go on top we're just going to get all these in Tighten that up. You should just push right in. Then 
rest are going to be all black. Until we get some new ones. So making sure these are pushing down all the way. I still want to get a custom duster made. I was thinking about getting like a slice of pizza on here or something like that. Okay, and we have one more button to push out. Sweet. I almost forgot. pieces should I have yeah we got two extra buttons right here so now we got to reconnect everything and everything should be back to normal um, now we got to reconnect the actual joystick itself Just plug in like that. Sweet, we got that in. Now we just need to redo the buttons. This, pull this off. Actually, just put this right here. So I know already the white is for the options. Tighten the ball top. last part is to put the bottom plate back on and we should be done right now we're just gonna leave that door open Fuck it. Wait, 
this way. Oh, this door is driving me nuts right now. that in. Honestly, I love arcade sticks, but the most annoying thing in any arcade stick that I've ever owned or dealt with has been the fucking cable. on and we're all done. I think it looks fucking sick. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, you know, I dig it, man. This is fucking cool. It's my first ever arcade stick mod, so, you know, if you're out there and you want to do something like this, definitely check out Focus Attack. Uh, they have everything out there listed and pretty, pretty self-explanatory. But uh, thanks for checking out my video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. It'll help me out. Motivates me more to do more videos like this. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned.